and make her remarks. Uh, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, Dr. William Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Your Excellency, Mama Pastor Dorcas Rigade, uh, the Deputy Chief Justice, Philomena Muelu, and the U.S. Ambassador, Meg Whitman, uh, also the Director General of the UNON, Ms. Zainab, all the Cabinet Secretaries present, the PSS, our Chair of uh, Council of Governors, uh, the Members of Parliament, the Members of the County Assemblies, and all the distinguished ladies and gentlemen in this house today. Good morning. Good afternoon. God is good. And all the time, Your Excellency, I'll be very brief. But I want to take the opportunity to acknowledge the journey that you have walked and continue to walk with the women of Kenya. And I say this because I have been one of those women, maybe within the political space, who have been nearby you, and I have seen how much you have carried us as women of Kenya in this republic. Uh, especially in the political space, it has not always been easy, Your Excellency. But you have stood firm and made sure that we were always at the table. And you have also made sure that uh, when it came to position, elective positions, you made sure that the women of this republic were given a fair shake, a fair chance, just like the men. And as we proceed, Your Excellency, I want to ask you to continue, and I'm sure it's a testimony of your support of women by just being here this morning. Uh, as a former parliamentarian, as a senator formerly, uh, I now look to you all in the parliament and together with our president and the deputy and the political class and your excellency, Madam Aisha Jumwa, let the two-thirds gender bill become a reality this time. The women of Kenya are watching you. In addition to that, your excellency, you have done very well in the economic space for the women of Kenya, and especially Mama Mboga. I remember when we went around having economic forums, and you talked and said what you would do for the women of this country. But I have watched you, I have seen what you have started doing, and I can verify and certify that you're walking the talk. We talked, Your Excellency, about perhaps uh, joining us as governors or working together in partnership, and especially at this time of drought, Your Excellency, to help give us maybe half, um, when the budget for the ECD feeding programs that we, the governors, are doing, it has become quite expensive, but it is something that we want to make sure it comes to be. There is famine, some children do not have a plate of food from morning to evening. So if you can help join us and partner with us, then as counties we shall be able to deliver food for our little children in the schools. Another bigger issue, Your Excellency, that I have noticed, a lot of the ladies are actually the ECD teachers in the counties. And we have had a circular from SRC reducing their salary to about 7,000 shillings, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, we talked about kazi ni kazi, but we talked about the dignity of work. That is not a living wage. So, Your Excellency, I ask that you look into that so that we make sure our teachers are paid like any other worker in this country so they can live off of it. And as I finish, Your Excellency, we have talked a lot about UHC and what we are doing in the counties and together with you in making sure that we are able to provide affordable, accessible health care for our communities. Your Excellency, we shall continue to partner with you to make sure that those who are not able, they are registered into NHIF, and perhaps the counties together with the national government can help pay for those who are not able to pay. So that Your Excellency, medical bills stop wiping out families in this country. Because every other phone call we receive, Your Excellency, is a family needing aid to help get their pa pa person out of hospital, get treatment, or a body in the morgue. So as a country, Your Excellency, as we work together, help us achieve this, and the women of this country will be very, very delighted. You stood with us, but the women also stood with you. Wamama simulisimama Naruto Mpaka Akawa President. In fact, we used to ask him, 
the biggest majority of the support for the president is the women. And even within us as a party, those who stood very firm with the president, hakutaka kusikia maneno ingine. Sisi tulijua ruto tu. Sindio hiyo? Kwa hivyo tu endelea kushikilia serikali so that the government is able to make these many programs that we are talking about come to be. And very gently, wa mama wa Kenya, let me just very gently ask, to see tikie kutumiwa vibaya, to not support the government of the day. Let us stand with the government of the day, let us stand with the president of the